Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Monsion. I wanted to come and say hello, for it is, uh, I've been called to, to come back and speak today about the higher mind and the lower mind and the blending of the two. For there's going to be a lot of revelation that are going to come to the picture. And that's going to create a lot of chaos, a lot of chaos. For a lot, there are billions of people that believe in the narrative that the government are, are telling them the truth, that science, that materialistic scientists are telling them the truth, that there is no God in the universe, that man is a supreme being in the universe and that his ego is all powerful and all of that's going to crumble down like a house of cards and so a lot of people are going to be so it's going to be a time to learn to be silent to hold the frequency to not get involved in all this many to not get involved in all the chaos and karma that needs to be expurged and so for i'm just sharing thoughts and ideas so use with whatever the, whatever means and if it, if it resonates with you use it for i'm going to pull a few or record and speak about wisdom for the highest wisdom is complementarity we're here to to finish to complete to, to create the, the complement the puzzle we need to finish this this complement to complement um, the world has to complement us and we have to complement the world so we have to find those people that we feel good with or we can feel comfortable safe with uh, what we need to understand is the family. For there is only one family, it's the family of God. But within that family, there are beings that, are, that we vibrate with and those we do not vibrate with. So just seek those to, that, that, that goes along the path that can cultivate joy rather than conflict and drama and, and problems. <laughs> what we need to do is to be authentic, to continue to sign on self, be true, to be true to ourselves and to continue to be true to others, to drop the mask of the ego. And the outcome will be meeting. There's going to be some wonderful people that we're going to meet, that's going to come to us, that we're going to come to, that circumstances, the angels will, will guide us towards. For wisdom is far more than intelligence or knowledge. There are some people that are very intelligent or that have a lot of information and knowledge, but very little wisdom. For I'm, I was part of one, that one, huh? because uh, and now I'm learning to, to, to discover that, to align. For, for the wisdom is the ability to solve situations, to solve problems, to, to manifest things with grace and ease. Huh? For there is always higher wisdom to be discovered. Yet the wisdom is, is usually revealed from the sixth sense. Yet people, have, we have a tendency to believe more in our five other senses. So it's about giving more priority to the, this, this sixth sense, this intuition, this connection to the voice of the heart. For the, the soul may ask us to move out of our comfort zone. So the ego will try to protect us uh, from its point of view and, and uh, um, to, to prevent us from moving out of this comfort zone because the soul may ask us to do things that are com seems completely counterintuitive because it will, it will make no sense on the logical level, yes. Yet on a deep level, we know that some things, we sometimes we need to come out of our comfort zone for something that makes sense, that is for our highest good. For everybody seeks to get closer to pleasure and further away from pain. Right? It's a natural thing. Yet, yet, what are so the, the, the letting go of people, the letting go of situation, the letting go of beliefs, the letting go of habits is really part of the process huh, in order to make space for better things, for more. Although it may be painful to do that. Huh? Um, but, but deep inside, we know we 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 have, we have already this knowledge, this trust that this is really what is. Uh, for the ego will tell us it's always somebody else's fault that we are we are never at fault. It's always somebody else. Uh, so so it's part of the process. We like we're never making. Well, actually, it is by our mistakes that we learn. If we recognize a mistake, we we have to learn everything and to learn from everything and everyone. And so so just learn everything. And as long as you learn something from someone or you learn something, then you you you. You haven't lost. Uh, you haven't. You think that you, your time here makes sense. The the card of the day is going far. There is a, a new chapter, a marathon that is starting. So just be ready. It's going to be a time of action. For the soul is to come from the heart, an open heart. And so ask you, ask your soul, ask your soul to speak to you. For the soul is your is connected to your higher self, your monad, your guides, and there is great wisdom that will come from there. And the soul is fully capable of handling any problems that we have. It is because the ego is trying to do that by itself, the lower mind, when the higher mind is actually knows everything, the Sagittarius represented by Sagittarius, then the lower mind by Gemini. And so the, the lower mind is, is good to navigate inside this, this matrix, but it's not supposed to know what's going on, what's coming up. It's, it, it just navigates. And so, but the higher mind, if we follow the higher mind, it will, it unfolds with greater ease. 
uh, for the soul is made of many fractals, our soul is great divine being of light, and it's fragmented in 12 different factions, and each fraction through fragmented in 12 different fraction, uh, fractals, and every fractal has got great wisdom, every incarnation, every consciousness, as if, if we allow to, to tune into our soul, to listen to our soul, then we'll be able to to, to receive the wisdom that we need, huh? and um, so so it's like uh, it will unfold as we, as we our lower mind is, is making certain compromise to accept to follow the higher mind. There's going to be a lot of the, the revelation that's going to be coming about uh, about the, the physical world, but also about extraterrestrials. For the the Congress, the American Congress has opened the, the Pandora's box eh, with that, and now there's a lot of discussion behind the scene about because they also come in closer, and we can see if, if you look at the sky at night, you will see or the day also maybe, but. Um, I, I do believe that the first one that will come into contact will be the Agarten, the, the, the beings from the inner earth, rather than ship landing from our, from outer space. We, from, from, from space, it will probably be the, the inner earth beings that will come to the galactic beings, beings of love and wisdom. You can, you can call on Master Lanto or Master Adama to assist you in this, uh, for there are great beings of great wisdom and love, and they, they come from, from, there is many cities like Shambhala, like... Um, uh, telos, um, like uh, there is this crystal r realm, this realm of light and love and and crystal that exists inside the planet. We're going to discover that, and so I'm going to pull one more card. And the card of the day is creativity. This is not to get lost in any details. Be creative. Move forward with your creativity. What feels good, huh? always. And just uh, just be ready. Just enjoy the rest and recuperate because it's gonna, it's gonna we're gonna be moving to this destiny path, into this mission, into this action. And so I thank you very much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I thank you for don your donations. If you're on a private session, you can send me an email. I hope this Sunday is uh, before we're getting ready for a big week and so the, the, for the, the a lot of things that. There was going to be an interruption within a, when we're ready, the interruption ha happens. And so we just have to fulfill the, whatever our soul is asking of us is really what we need to, to align with. And so I'm going to finish with a song. It's a, it's a song, a beautiful song that sings it to, to pray with relation and to, to, to thank God for, the, for this, the recreation of each and every day. For it's going to be difficult for the atheists, and so just uh, just be kind, be, but 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 do not confront them on on, the, on this thing. They're not willing to accept, and they, they, they're going to blow into all kind of pieces. And it's going to, there's going to be a just uh, you have to say no, uh, so say you no know when to speak and when not to speak. We want to bring our light, bring bring the information to those people who are receptive, but no need to to try to to bring it to someone who's, who does not want to hear it, does not want to know. It. They will figure it out in time. Song is from uh, Kat Stevens or Yusuf Islam called now. It's called Morning Has Broken. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning. Praise for them springing fresh from the world. Sweet the rain new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise for the sweetness of the wet garden. Sprung in completeness, where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light, hidden so plain. Praise with elation, praise every morning. God's recreation of the new day. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the singing, praise for the morning. 
praise for them springing fresh from the world. Beautiful song, thank you, Cat Stevens. Uh, for for we, um, it's very important to for the wisdom is only useful to the wise. To the fool, the stupid, is, is they have absolutely no need. So just uh, just focalize on getting receiving the, the, your own answer, focalizing on your own path. Trust the plan of God will unfold in due time, and um, and also just uh, try to replace, to have faith, to to tune in, to turn into the higher the higher light, your higher soul, your your higher energies, to receive the information rather than try to solve it mentally. I need a massage. Uh, and the card of the day is the five of Michael. It says the situation, the, what's going on right now, does not bring you anything good. You you have to to let let go of things that are not um, do not take at heart those things that do that are meaningless. Back up from the situation. So so really much about about letting go of all kinds of dramas and. And then uh, you, we then we have the, this four of Raphael. It says, "Look for other possibility. Look into the magical side, side of light, life. Becoming aware of our emotion. So it's all happening. It's all we we just gotta let go of the drama and uh, and try to trust more and to to let go of um, of of all kinds of uh, shadows. The deal with the shadows. Call on the angels and archangels. I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful Sunday, and I'll talk to you later. Salad Adonai.